Good morning. Hey, welcome to Business Growth Accelerator Live. It is just another great, great day out here. And uh, I've come outside because I needed to water the lawn. Now you'll see behind me here, there's just a little uh, system going back and forth. And this is amazing because I want to talk to you today about systems. And remember, this is simple strategies for serious business owners who want solid results. Now, before I got this little system you can see behind me that's watering the lawn, I used to have to stand there, use one of these, all right? We've all probably used it before where we water the garden, and I used to have to stand there, and it used to take time. Um, but then I realized there has to be a better way because it's like in business. If you have to be in business all the time, then you are a slave to the business. You don't have a business that can operate profitably without you. So then I was on, uh, on uh, Amazon the other day and I saw this little thing to water the garden. I thought, this is pretty cool, all right? Because you can see it swings back and forth. I can just stand here and watch it or I can actually go inside and do something else. Now the thing is, it will continue to water the garden and water the grass, whatever I need it to do, for as long as I want until I turn the tap off. That's the great thing about it. So I'm actually in control of it. And this is what we need to be in our business as well, to be in control of our businesses. Because quite often, so many of us are working in the business. Here's an example of me being able to work on the business because I can do something else while this thing goes to work. It's like a conveyor belt, isn't it? It goes round and round and round constantly while I can just watch it and I can go away. The difficulty most people have though is that most of the stuff in their business is sitting in their head here. Now it's no good to anyone if it's sitting up in your head because if you become sick or injured and can't work and it's all up here, then how the hell can anyone come in and run the business for you? So it's really important that you open your head up, pull everything out and actually write it down on paper or photograph it or video it so that if something happens to you, you've actually got a system where someone else can run it and go through the checklists, the check sheets and run your business for you. Now this is why McDonald's is so successful. Now, would you agree with me that McDonald's don't make the best burger in the world? Fair enough. But I'll tell you, if you have a McDonald's in LA and McDonald's in uh, London or Istanbul or Iran, wherever, you're pretty much going to have exactly the same taste, consistency and burger for the simple fact that is the, is the most systemized business in the world, even down to watching uh, sorry, washing your hands. Tony, g'day to you. Good to have you on here, fella. So we're just talking about systems, Tony. Now, the thing is that McDonald's has made more millionaires in the world because they have a system in their business. Very much like what I've done here. All right, I've got a system that's running the watering of the garden for me. So I can stand here and do this, this live, this business growth accelerator live, or I can go and do something else. It's as simple as that. But the thing is, you've got to take it out of your head. And the thing is, what does system stand for? Here's an acronym for you. You might want to write this down. System, saving yourself stress, time, energy, and money. Let me say that again. System, saving yourself stress, time, energy, and money. When you've got to do that, then you've got a system that will actually run the business for you. And the number one thing that if you want to have a successful business is to have the system at running the business for you. So you get out of the business. That's fundamentally important. Now to give you an example, we had a, a chef that we were working with, uh, Dara, most amazing Irishman and the most brilliant cook, brilliant, brilliant chef. But he refused to take all of his signature recipes out of his head and put them down onto paper. He was scared that someone would go and uh, uh, steal them not quite fairly, but we said to him, it isn't going to happen. We said, Dara, what I want you to do is I want you to take one of your signature recipes out of your head and write it down on paper or photograph it, however you want to do it, and then we're going to give it to one of your sous chefs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get you to make the same dish, and we're going to take the two dishes out into your restaurant, and we're going to give it to some patrons. We're going to ask them who has cooked the dish, see if they can tell the difference. 
He was a little bit reluctant to do this. But anyway, he said, oh, we'll give it a go, as Dara did. So anyway, they did this. They got one of the sous chefs to write, do the dish exactly as Dara had written it down for him. All right, we then took it out of the restaurant. It was fascinating. The patrons there were wondering why we were doing this because they both tasted the same. They said, these are great dishes. In fact, we would like to order this now, not what we'd ordered originally, which made us laugh. Okay, Dara all of a sudden had a light bulb moment. We went back into the kitchen and he said, I'm working 14, 15 hours a day, yet I just now realise my sous chef can do this and I can actually have some time off. You should have seen the light bulb that just came on. Now, here's the other interesting fact also. Dara then systemised the business and they sold it 11 months later. They were told that they'll probably get three or four times multiple for it. They ended up getting eight times multiple which gave them a whole lot more money to go and do things. And here's the interesting fact, like when you sell a business, most uh, people who buy it want you to stay in the business to help them run it for a period of time because all this stuff's still in your head. Because Dara had systemized his business, written all the signature dishes down, he could walk out, the new business owner came in and just carried on. And that's what having a system is uh, like. And I'm just looking at my system here. It's going pretty well, actually. I think it's time to go inside for a cup of coffee. So there you go. There's the tip for the day. Systemize your business. This one tip will actually help you to have the time that you want, the freedom that you want from your business, and the money that you deserve and desire. Now, if you've liked this tip, please share it, um, comment on it, uh, talk to me about it. And if you want, please come and join Business Growth at uh, accelerated because we do this every morning live 10 past 9 five days a week not on the weekends because the business owners you need to have a break and Saturday and Sunday for me is my break hey we'll see you tomorrow morning 10 past 9 go ahead and systemize your business